And we go in like that. I already did this morning, so I don't want to redo it again. But I just go in and really, really massage in there. Um, Hi guys, hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how scalp massaging has really, really helped grow out my hair. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube talking about scalp massaging and for some reason I just never really thought to do it. I don't know what it is. So a couple months ago, um, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing it um, because I'm, I have hair goals. I'm trying to get to a certain length. So um, yeah, so what I noticed is like when I started doing it, um, I was doing a sew-in and really wanted to blend my own hair with the weave that I did. And all of a sudden, after I was doing scalp massaging, I noticed that I had way more new growth really soon. Um, usually I get the typical one inch a month, and when I was about to do this weave and whatever, I just noticed that I had way more new growth. So a couple weeks later, I washed my hair, deep condition, whatever, and I noticed that as I was deep conditioning, I had waves and waves of new growth. So I was like, okay, whoa, this is different. Um, this is working, so I'm definitely gonna be doing this. Um, so scalp massaging pretty much helps with uh, blood flow in your scalp and that increases growth um, in your hair um, So I really 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 believe in this and I believe that it's really helping my hair So I wanted to share with you guys now. It's not just scalp massaging alone, but scalp massaging with oils uh, of your choosing um, I have castor oil. I have sulfur 8. I have um, hair fertilizer and white wild growth oil. So all these are my main one. I switch them up and then I also have a mixture of it in here. So here I have um, castor oil mixed in with all the other products I just mentioned. And um, I just usually mix it up um, and put it on my scalp daily. Um, anytime that I have free time or I'm sitting and my hands are free, I really, really take the time to just go in there and really massage uh, my scalp. Um, yeah, so I have, sorry guys, I had to pick up my stuff. Okay, so pretty much, um, so this one is the wild growth one, uh, then Sulfa 8 as I said, um, and the virgin, um, virgin hair fertilizer. So pretty much um, I switch them up depending on how I'm feeling. Either I can do all of them at once with that mixer I showed you guys, or I, I do this one some days and another day, you know, I'll do the Sulfa 8. Um, just switching them up but mainly making sure that I use some kind of oil to always really really massage and um, I really go in especially to this back area that I have issues with because it's very uneven um, I tend to have hair breakage more in that area versus the front so I'm really really been taking the time to really really go in there and really massage so typically I have um, the bottle that I have and I just part it um, as I'm wearing my crochet braids and I really go in like that. I already did it this morning, so I don't want to redo it again. But I just go in and really, really massage in there. Um, and then really focusing on those edges um, often. Um, so any, pretty much any time that I, any little time that I get, I am really doing this because I'm really on a mission and I really want to get to this length that I want to get. Uh, the length for this, the goal that I have is pretty much to get to like a shoulder length. That's always been my main one. I don't want to have like hair down to my back. I don't really have that. I just want even healthy looking hair that's um, shoulder length and stuff like that. If it grows more then oh well. So yeah, I've noticed that a big change when I started doing scalp massaging a couple months ago. So I've been continuing to do it and hopefully this year I can kind of do an updated relaxer video whatever and show you guys how my hair is doing with it. Um, but I'm just amazed. Um, I'm really 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 impressed um, by this. Uh, for some reason I know it was there and I just didn't so if you guys have tried scalp massaging and you do it often, let me know how it's been for you. Um, if you've tried any of these products, let me know how they've worked out for you. A lot of people kind of said that they it's been up like different, I can't talk. A lot of people have different things to say about this product. Um, some people have said they love it, some people don't like it. Um, some people just say it does nothing. Um, but for me, I'm just really trying anything at this point to scalp massage my hair. Um, I know castor oil works because definitely it, works, it worked for the first few months that I tried scalp massaging with it. So I know for sure that works, but I'm curious what you guys thought, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, Sulfur A is just mainly like a scalp massager, I mean a scalp massage, mainly for moisturizing your scalp. Um, another thing that I wanted to get is a massage brush. I've seen a lot of people use that and sometimes when your hair is out, you can just go in and let it do, you push an on button, just pretty much let it do its thing. So you don't have to feel like you're doing a lot of work and stuff like that. So yeah, I just want to share that with you guys um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.